Hello everyone, welcome to my political journalism news channel. The story for today is the Ukrainian armed forces were recently modernized but are outnumbered and outgunned by the invading Russians. Figures from the International Institute for Strategic Studies in the UK show. Russia already holds a major advantage in military manpower, with 900,000 active personnel in its armed forces, and 2 million in reserve. Russia also outnumbers Ukraine in terms of military equipment, for example it has more than 15,857 armored fighting vehicles, to Ukraine's 3,309. But the determined resistance by outgunned Ukraine over the past seven days shows fighting spirit is important. And Kyiv has been promised further supplies of modern military hardware, such as anti-tank and anti-aircraft missiles, from Western countries including Australia. Here are some of the weapons either on the battlefield or heading to it. From the start of the Russian invasion last Thursday, Ukrainian authorities broadcast instructions how to make this simple explosive device. Ironically named after World War II Russian Foreign Minister Vyacheslav Molotov, they are made from a glass bottle filled with a flammable substance and topped with a cloth in the bottle rim. When lit, the cloth ACDS as a wick, or fuse, before the bottle is thrown at an enemy. At the other end of the technological scale is Russia's controversial thermobaric weapon, or vacuum bomb. They are sometimes called vacuum bombs because they suck in the oxygen from the surrounding air to generate a powerful explosion and a large pressure wave that can have enormous destructive effects. Russia deployed thermobaric weapons in Chechnya during the 1990s, with horrifying consequences, according to Human Rights Watch. In a significant strategic development, the U.S. has decided to send shipments of Stinger missiles to Ukraine to fight the Russians. Developed by the U.S. Army in the 1980s, the Stinger is a 15-kilogram shoulder-mounted missile that uses an infrared sensor to locate an aircraft by its heat. The 1.5 meters long missile travels at twice the speed of sound and destroys its target with fragmentation explosives. Stingers supplied by the Reagan administration successfully helped Afghan rebels shoot down Russian aircraft during the Afghanistan conflict in the 1980s. Cluster bombs are weapons that open in the air, releasing submunitions, or bomblets, that are dispersed over a large area, intended to wreak destruction on multiple targets at once. Cluster bombs can be delivered by planes, artillery and missiles, according to the International Committee of the Red Cross ICRC. Beyond the initial harm caused by the munitions upon impact, bomblets have a higher rate of failure to explode, up to 40% in some recent conflicts, according to the ICRC. The Javelin is a lightweight, man-portable, shoulder-fired missile system that has been proven to destroy armored vehicles in other global conflicts. It has a range of up to 4,000 meters and requires only 72 hours training for operators, a crucial factor for the desperate Ukrainian defenders. That is all for today news, thank you for watching to my channel, please be sure to leave your comment and subscribe below for more news update.